There's a photo of me from a long time ago. I look at it and I remember more and more about the day it was taken, the circumstances surrounding it, and me, or at least the person I used to be. But so much is missing from the photo. The smile is there, but where are the feelings behind it? Where are the thoughts that were going through my mind? The instant in which this photo was taken is only one among infinity. There's a complete lack of context. And my mind seems to have filled in those gaps, smoothing out the rough edges of the past, reinventing it. I look at this photo and see what I want to see. I see that day without the pain or the suffering that went with it. A fantasized situation that I was never really a part of. And now I have this entire narrative written out in my mind about this photo. About what I remember that past to be. And this reimagined version is all I'm left with, even though it never happened. But I still find myself crying over it. I can't help but miss that time so much. Nostalgia is blind to what is real and what isn't. I yearn for this previous version of my life, but that version never was. I think I've fallen in love with a fiction that I now chase aimlessly. And as I swell more and more with nostalgia, I fail to recognize myself, like if it was a picture of someone else. I can't bring myself to feel a connection to the person in this photo. That's just not me. Time, you didn't make us rememberers, you made us storytellers. These are not accurate memories I hold in my mind, they are fictions. In this photo I see a life that has been invented, not photographed. I see the ghost of an instant, and the very instant after the photo was taken, the ghost ceased to exist, and in its place, a memory was crafted. A fiction was created. A fiction of which I am the main character, but reality is distorted to a much more pleasing shape. It turns out the human gaze is a storyteller. What we invented when we created cameras was the non-biased eye. Not seeing people and identities like we do, but photographing ghosts. These ghosts live among us, inside of ourselves, but only in the instant. They are as real as time itself. I don't recognize myself in this photo because I'm not in it. That's not my face smiling, that's the face of the ghost of a passing moment. This ghost calls itself by my name, exists on my behalf, but is only ever an instant old. All that I am is the ethereal trail it leaves behind. The fictitious being writing himself into existence, believing that I'm him, crafting memories and spinning them into a web that I call my life. It's painful to uh, realize that the universe is his realm and that I can only ever peer into it through his eyes. He's the one who has the privilege of existence. He's made of atoms, I'm only made of thought. I try to look at him in the mirror, but I'm too slow and I'm left looking at myself, the fiction he doesn't even know about. So I look at myself and ask, how can I call this fiction me? How can I exist if all that I am never was? I suppose we must give up this illusion of one day finding a simple definition of what we are. Maybe the existence of any definition of self is an unwarranted expectation. I think identity is based on cause and effect. I know I'm me because all that I was before shaped me into who I am. But these memories are works of fiction, so I must be fictitious too. My own version of me is a mere interpretation, and a retrospective one at that. I am not here or now. I'm not even sure I exist. The only time that exists is the present, yet the present is of the infinitesimal. There's no room for us there, only room for the ghosts of time. The trails they leave behind invent themselves. Yeah, I don't know, I, I think about that sometimes.